All right, so now that we have our glass pane here in Unity, uh, we can start setting up uh, all of the different components that we need to, to make this work. So this Blender file is going to pull into Unity as just a big list of all your glass shards. So what you need to do is create an empty game object for each quadrant. And then uh, you're going to put a box collider on every empty. And then you can child all of the sections of shards to the appropriate quadrant. So do that for each section that you've got in your glass pane. And then inside each quadrant, you should see all of your uh, little shards. And each shard is going to need a mesh collider. And it also needs to be marked as convex. And it also needs a rigid body. Uh, and you're going to want to mark each one of those rigid bodies as kinematic so that they don't start moving right off the bat. And what we'll do is we're going to write a script here that will enable the, the rigid body turn off kinematic as soon as it detects a collision in that quadrant. So here's a script that I wrote for my game that I'm working on. And what we do is we're going to check uh, a tag. So, so a projectile is going to hit the quadrant with this tag here. So I've tagged my quadrant. Let's go take a look at it. So here's a quadrant here. And I've tagged it as glass test. So I'm going to check that tag. And if my collision happens on that tag, we are going to disable the, the box collider on the quadrant, which will prevent it from breaking the glass around it. And then we're going to create an array of the shards that belong to that quadrant. And then we're going to loop through that array. And for each shard, we are going to turn the kinematic off so that the shards will move. And then we're going to add force to each piece of glass to get it kind of moving a little more dynamically as the, as the uh, projectile hits it. So here you see um, I've turned kinematic on all the shards. And let's give it a try. So I'm going to throw my projectile. And as it hits, you can see the, the glass breaking apart. And it gives a pretty convincing uh, breaking glass feel. So it worked out really well for the, for the game that I'm making. Let's try that again. And you can see that depending on where the projectile hits, the glass shatters and breaks away appropriately. So this is even more realistic. I mean, these are just hanging out in space. But if you put this into like a window frame, let me show you. I've got one out here with a... Yeah, let me just turn on the mesh renderer for my frame so it looks a little more appropriate. Like glass isn't just floating in the air. So that is how I've accomplished the uh, breaking glass effect for my game called Hoodlum. So I sure hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope you learned something. And please feel free to uh, like this video, comment. If you have any questions, I'm, I'm happy to answer. And I will do my best to to help you understand what's going on and I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.